These are so easy to fold compared to flats. Always check the lens before you hit record. Just wiped y'all off with a pair of toddler underwear. So we'll jump right in. My name is Amy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I share lots of motherhood tips, weekly vlogs, bits of our home renovation, natural living tips, just everything that goes on in our crazy busy life. So I'd love to have you join us by hitting that subscribe button. So jumping right in, I've shared several cloth diapering videos here on my channel in the past. I've talked about what we used, how to fold cloth diapers, when we made the switch to this current brand of cloth diapers we are using, how to wash them, how to rinse them. So this is just going to be a shorter version of all of that, all compiled, also giving my, you my review of the cloth diapers we've been using and how they're holding up. So to jump right in, here are our cloth diapers. This is an outer, I'm oh, sorry, this is an inner for my toddler, and this is an inner for my seven month old. So you can see the size difference. My toddler is actually potty trained except at night and during naps, so that's the only time he wears diapers. And they also have what's called an outer liner. So this outer liner fits right over the inner and holds in all of the messes that your baby could make. So my first point on the list of why you would want to use these cloth diapers is ease of use. This is literally like a disposable diaper. You snap it on the baby, you put it on the baby, snap it on, put the outer around them, snap it on, simple as that. It's easy enough for dads to do. So definitely ease of use. My husband, when we switched to this style of cloth diapers, loved it. My mother-in-law loved it when she changed diapers. Just everyone who was not quite a fan of their previous cloth diapering method loved when I switched to this. So a little backstory, if you haven't seen my other cloth diapering videos, I have a seven month old and we have been cloth diapering with this assembly brand since she was born. My son, who is now a little over two, used flats, pre-folds, and covers. So we switched to this method when she was born and have will never go back. So ease of use, number one, they're simple to put on, they're simple to take off and anyone can do them. If you send them to a sitter or a daycare, they are very likely to be totally fine with using these cloth diapers. Number two, these diapers never, ever, ever, and I mean never, ever, have leaks. The um, inner just holds everything in tightly. This will be really wet when you take it off your baby, but having the outer around it is going to hold in all of the messes. As long as you make sure the snaps are tighter on their legs and their hips, you're not gonna have any leaks out of this little diapering system. It is amazing, we've had, breast milk poop, we've had solid poop, we've had toddler poop, we've had runny, um, gooey poop, um, we've had all the poop and nothing has ever leaked out of here. Sometimes we will get a little bit of residue on the elastic where it's almost about to come out but it never has no leaks with these diapers. My third point that I want to mention on why you should switch to this style of cloth diaper is they're easy to clean. So I've already talked a little bit about the outer. These can be reused over and over as long as your child is just having a wet diaper and nothing has leaked out. I've actually even reused these for poop diapers because this thing is phenomenal at holding in all of the mess. So this is really easy to clean. You don't even need that many of these. We really only go through one or one of these a day most days. So these are super easy to clean. If they get any poop on them, they are like this swimsuit style material. They rinse right off. The inners are also easy to clean. Whenever it's a poop diaper, we either just spray it off, rake it in the toilet, just remove the poop and then wash. So you can see this one is really clean. Um, it probably hasn't had a lot of poop in it because this is a toddler one. This one has had lots of breast milk, little baby poop. Um, so it's a little bit stained. I'll talk a little bit more in just a minute about staining, but they're super easy to clean. You just rinse them off. We use a little bidet sprayer hooked on our toilet with a diaper spray shield and then just rinse them out um, that way. I have a whole video on how I clean our clean the poop off our cloth diapers. So I'll link that in the description below. So super easy to clean. A lot of parents are intimidated by cleaning cloth diapers and that's one of the factors that keeps them from switching, but these are super easy to clean. So definitely don't let the poop and the messes deter you from switching to cloth diapering if you're on the fence about it. A fourth point on why you should use cloth diapering more specifically is simple cloth diapering is pricing. I've seen lots of videos weighing the pros and cons between the prices of cloth diapers because when you get cloth diapers it's a big investment up front but then you get to reuse them over and over and over you're not having to buy diapers every month. So I'll just give you a quick example for myself. We have I don't even know how many enters. I just know that when I first made my purchase I spent $300 I'll just give you the price of each one. Each one of these is $12. The bigger one is $14 and all of the outers are $18.50. Now, I will mention this company has sales quite often. I get emails from them all the time about having sales. Their biggest sale, I think, is around Earth Day, so April in the spring. I need to Google that. 
I believe each inner was less than $10 and the outers were around 12 or 15. It was a really good sale. It's their biggest sale of the year. Now they have other sales throughout the year, so definitely watch for sales on this company. Anyways, I spent about $300 up front. We've been using these cloth diapers for seven months now. So let's divide that by seven months and get the monthly amount. 300 divided by seven. So that's $40 a month. Now a pack of diapers disposable, if you're using disposable all the time, I did a quick Google search for that. It's around 70 or $80 a month. So only seven months in, I'm already half of the price of disposable diapers. So the longer I use these, the longer my savings will be. So let's just say 300 divided by 12. After a year, I'm getting down to $25 a month, which is drastically cheaper than the price of disposable diapers every month. We did buy disposable diapers with my first child for the first six months, and that's actually what shifted me to switch to cloth diapers is the price we were spending every month on disposable diapers. We were trying to budget down and cut corners where we could, and diapers was one of the first things we cut. And I'm so thankful we did. It's not only better for our wallet, but also so much better for our children. There's lots of toxic chemicals in disposable diapers. I won't even get into that side tangent, but this is much better to be on our baby's skin as often as they wear diapers since they are in diapers 24 seven. Um, these are organic cotton, by the way. So the pricing is great. You are gonna put an investment in upfront, but in the long run, especially if you're gonna have multiple children, they're definitely worth the money that you're gonna save from buying disposable diapers every month. My fifth and final tip on why you should switch to cloth diapers, assembly cloth diapers, is their longevity. So I already mentioned that we've been using cloth diapers for seven months now. My daughter is little over seven months and we have been using them since she was about a month old. So these have held up great. My toddler's been using them during naps and um, like for car rides when he's not in his underwear since he is thankfully so glad he's potty trained. I did not want to have two children in cloth diapers. So these have held up great. I mentioned that I was gonna talk about staining. So, they will stain. Cloth diapers are going to stain. If you use flats, they're going to stain. I've talked to many cloth diapering families that after all their kids are done cloth diapering, they either just trash the flats because they're so stained up or they use them for like cleaning rags. Just cloth diapers are going to get dirty. You can strip them. You can sun them. Over time, the stains are just going to sit in. Now, Assembly has their own washing system. I have not dabbled into that. I just use our own washing system. I can link that video down below, which also talks how I washed, how about how I washed cloth diapers. But our main way to get stains out is putting them in the sun. Now we live in the South, so we have hot summers and the summertime, these cloth diapers are white as snow. So I showed y'all a baby poop one. This one sunned yesterday, but we are in the middle of October and the sun is not quite as hot. There's a lot of trees kind of in our area where we sun our diapers and they just weren't able to fully sun out, bleach out the stains. But if you are in a climate where you are able to sun your cloth diapers, it's gonna help them hold up even longer. It's gonna keep them from being heated so often in the dryer. The sun's gonna keep those stains out. And just, it's miraculous really how easily these come clean in the sun, in the hot sun. So we are getting into the winter months, so I'll have to see how these are holding up now that I won't be able to sun them as often because of just cold weather. Um, I don't really wanna go ahead and close on the line when it's 20, 30 degrees outside. Not that it really gets that cold here in Mississippi. Anyways, you can dry these. They've hold, held up well. They've been dried many times also. I don't always put them out on the sun. We wash cloth diapers twice a week. I hang them dry on the weekends and on the middle of the week, I just put them in the dryer. They have had no peeling such far as far as inside the diaper, outside the diaper. My children scoot all around on our floor. They've scooted around on concrete outside. Um, in dirt. There's no peeling on these diapers whatsoever. This is a toddler one, so you know he's active in his. Here's an infant one. Um, oh, by the way, this size is for 7 to 17 pounds, so pretty much newborn to um, how, whenever your baby hits 17 pounds. And this one is for 18 pounds to 35 pounds, so pretty much fits toddlers all the way up until they're potty trained. And you can strip your diapers if you're starting to have buildup and smell and residue. I'll leave a tutorial down below on how to strip diapers. I actually have not made a tutorial myself because I haven't had to strip these diapers just yet. But um, they have held up great. I definitely see them holding up for several more children. So I just am in love with these diaper, this diapering system. The outer and the inner is just ingenious. If you have flats and prefolds and you've already been using them, you can still use flats and prefolds with these covers. I actually do that sometimes. If I run out of these and it's not a wash day, I'll just put a flat or a prefold in here and it works 
not as good, but it works. Um, these are just phenomenal at holding in all of the messes that your baby can make. So with all this being said, I hope I've convinced you of why you should switch to cloth diapering. More, spe more specifically, assembly cloth diapering. There are other companies that, that are coming out with this style of this system of cloth diapering with an outer and inner. Um, but I think, I'm pretty sure Assembly was one of the first, and they are just amazing. So I've been using Assembly before they even reached out to me, but I do have a coupon code in the description to save you some money. I'll have that linked below. Um, no pressure, but these diapers are amazing. I was using Assembly diapers before I was even affiliated with the company, so I love, absolutely love these diapers. I purchased my entire first set of cloth diapers, so this is not something that I was just given. This is something I truly recommend and truly love, and if you are thinking about cloth diapering or thinking about switching to an easier cloth diapering method, if you are already cloth diapering, this is the way to go. Check out my other cloth diapering videos if you want some more information on a day in the life in cloth diapering, what we used to use, if you're interested in what we used to use before we used assembly, and I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'm an open book. Would love to chat cloth diapering with you. My intention was to fold these diapers while I chatted with y'all. Um, this is how we store our cloth diapers, the toddler size and the baby size. My intention was to fold all of these cloth diapers while I was chatting with y'all, but I got a little chatty and forgot to fold. So I'm going to fold these now. Thank y'all so much for watching this video and I will see y'all in my next one. These are so easy to fold compared to flats and prefolds.